What's up, son? Feeling like I just got my ass kicked? I see you going pretty hard there in the gym. Yeah, I'm trying to lose this damn Harrison gut. The belly's running the family. Bald head. I think the bald head, too. Yeah. Baldness. It's not even a trait in this family. I'm like the only person in this family who's bald. That's and money comes second. Depending on who you ask. But the best part, you never know what's going to come through that door. This is Pawn Stars. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. Good, thanks for coming. This is it? Yes, sir. Fun with it, but it's kind of dangerous. I'm asking 3,500, but the least I take is 26. The headlights. Nice. So why a Mercedes? Yeah, I bought it for my daughter. How old's your daughter? 11. Oh. It moves fine. But uh, the main cool feature would be in the trunk, which got turned into a cooler from the guy who used to have it. No freaking way. How fast does this thing go? I think around 15 miles per hour, right around there. Dang, that's pretty sweet. How does it turn? Ooh. Hey. That was pretty fun. How much you want for this thing? Looking. I can't do it. How about about 33? I just don't see my boss Barry. This is where I'm going to have to stay. Giving Tiger Woods a run for his money. Yeah, Mama don't work here, so clean up after yourself. He actually wanted to get rid of the refrigerator in the break room to save on electricity. They'd cut off your hand. Yeah. Those are threatening. The notes are kind of silly. That's for you. Shut up, Rick. You know what? I love you too, Dad. Grandpa, you got to stop. What do we have here? This is Elvis's super fly coat. I dig it. <laughs> Better than that. He was known for his um, taste in clothing. <laughs> oh. I've been here before. I'm coming back because they treated me fairly last time. I like making deals with these guys. To me, Elvis represents America. This was Elvis's coat. It was. Okay. It was made by IC Costume Company. He's playing that museum for about 30 years. And Mike got it from J.D. Sumner, Elvis's bass singer. And I have a bill of sale from J.D. Sumner to Mike Moon. Elvis was to rock and roll music. But he also made a mark with his outrageous sense of style. With his jumpsuits, his glitter, his gold chain. Pretty fly for a white guy. Where's my money? <laughs> Where's my money? <laughs> What if I have someone look at this thing? I mean, it is really cool. I mean, it's a massive. How much were you looking to get out of it, too? 75000 OK. Um, let me give him a call, and we'll go from there. One of my regular customers brought in a coat he says belonged to Elvis during the 70s. Anything related to Elvis can create a very large price tag. So I called in. Are you kidding? I, need, I needed the two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's how we met. She informed me. You never knew what was going to happen. You know, there was always something, and Elvis was very impatient. So you get on the plane, you're in the air, and he wants to go get it. This is the one. He wore it quite a lot. It mostly uh, to the hotels and yes. So you think this is the real deal? I know it is. $50,000, dollars 55000 It's a great coat. It's more than a coat. It's, it's Elvis, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what collectibles have done in the past few years. I mean, mm -hmm, the price sure. has gone down. It's not come up. But the good stuff always remains high. And I mean, this is, it doesn't get much. And I have to sell it. 70 grand. I can't do it. 40 grand. I mean, I'm giving you my best number right off the bat. That's what I can do. The jumpsuits go for hundreds of thousands. And although this is not stage worn. 40 grand. All right, just for you. I'll do 45. I'll go 40. The deal's not right. The deal's not right, dude. Okay. 
All right, man, I wish we could work. Change your mind, give me a call. Diesel of 50 to 60 was a little bit low. Bald head back. <laughs> <laughs> so did you write this? You're all about writing notes lately. No, I didn't write that. If I did, I would have wrote something better than that. You gotta admit, that's pretty good, boss. Yeah, chuck it. I think my head looks pretty. I think I... Love it. I'm not self-conscious. If I was self-conscious, I would wear a wig or something. Tana, signed by Koeda Ishida himself, and I'm interested in selling it. All right. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of it. The sky's the limit. So what can you tell me about it? I have been the descendant of uh, Mitsunari Ashida, the colonel in the war, the Battle of Sakigahara. Does that make it special? I've never seen anything like this one here anywhere. You got a few, man. <laughs> you got a couple, <laughs> but you notice nothing like this. We, I've got to have it. When you say it has markings and it's signed, where are they? The swordsmith usually puts his signature on it on the tank. So if we remove this handle, we'll see the signature underneath? Right. I'm not trying to be a jerk to this guy, but I do need to be extremely careful. There's a ton of fakes out there. Some stranger appraised it. And... All right, let me go give him a call. All right, thank you. I'm excited because now I got a professional that knows what he's doing. I took the address down. I figured you'd go down there and check it out. This guy's got Steve McQueen's. He said anyone can come over right now and look at it. He'll be there for the next three hours. It's kind of weird that it's in a mini mall, but most stores in mini malls have storage in the back. Five, 127, 129. I'm pretty excited about seeing this bike. That's the last. A guy brought in a signed Japanese katana. It's a great looking sword, but his paperwork is pretty thin. So Mike's here to give it a once over and tell us more about it. Is it oh. steel? Yes, sir. So their cutting ability is unparalleled. During World War II, there was... It's really rare to find a sword from the 1200s in fully intact condition. Getting a sword like that is kind of like winning the lotto. So... But there is no such maker as Ishida Koeda, 15 years ago. You. Yeah, I'm disappointed. Because it looks real. It fooled me, and I was really looking forward to this. But 